in the invitations and in some of the things that we've uh, sent out is uh, that there would be a fundraising project and uh, different ideas were tossed around for this. Uh, one that was specifically brought up actually by the Chafers was the need for new vans uh, for the academy and uh, it was a very, very good idea. Uh, but as we were thinking and praying about it with the staff, um, we thought it would be very necessary for you, Dr. and Mrs. Chavers, dad and mom, to have a two week paid sabbatical and uh, the money that we get tonight and that has already been raised is going to be going towards that for you to get some rest. And uh, you have given and given and given and given. Someone described you as always giving out. Everything that came into you, you would immediately give out. And that signifies your life. And we want to give a chance now to give back to you. And all of our staff love them and appreciate, appreciate you, Dr. and Mrs. Chavers, mom and dad. They appreciate you so much. And they're gonna give a few reasons now of all the ways that you have impacted them and been a blessing in ministry to them. Dr. Chavers has influenced me just with the passion and the vision that he has and the fact that he cares about us. When I came to college and I met Dr. Chavers, I thought he was the typical founder of a college that you rarely see and he's not really involved in your life, but Dr. Chavers taught classes and would pull me aside. We did song leading once and I wasn't getting it. And he took the time with me and wants me to learn. He doesn't keep his talents to himself, he tries to instill it in others. Just his willingness to teach and his willingness to take out time for each of his, uh, each of the interns, each of the staff here. I really appreciate like that he, he can see potential in people and really works to bring that out of them and not just let them keep sliding by and just doing whatever they think um, is best, especially in acting and in their spiritual lives. I really respect Dr. Chaver's ability to really try to get things done and how when he when he starts working on something it's he's going to follow through with it and very rarely does he ever say go look back on something that he's done and say oh i wasn't able to get that done he just never quits he knows what it is that he's after and uh, by god's grace and by his spirit he he accomplishes great things because he's not, he's not afraid to step out in faith he is a very inspiring person just his vision and how he has great ideas that the Lord gives him that I think very few people would attempt to actually try and the schedule that he does things on and um, oh I'm just going to write a song and have it ready tomorrow and it's going to just be perfect and <laughs> he's one of the very few people that can pull it off and I think he's just helped me see you know what the Lord can do with somebody who's willing. He likes to get things right, not because he's a perfectionist, but because it's for the glory of God, and that's something that's really important to him, and I appreciate that a great deal. One of my favorite things about Dr. Chavers is um, the fact that he's not afraid to tell the truth. Um, he's very bold. He's extremely passionate about the Lord. You get him talking about things of the Lord, and he just he will keep going and keep going. It is wonderful. He always is an example of Jesus Christ to me, there's been times that I've gone into his office and he's stopped and asked what's wrong and taken the time to talk to me and then prayed with me and then followed up on me. Dr. Shavers has kind of been like a second father to me. He's one of those people who you walk down the hallway and you see him and he just starts, like, he smiles at you as you're walking down the hallway and it just brightens your day. And I can't tell you how many times he's counseled me from the Word of God and how many times he's encouraged me just like in the odd little moments that I may walk past him and he just he says hi and asks how I'm doing and, and cares. Like, I think that's the way he's impacted me the most is that Dr. Chavers, he cares about every single person who comes through this ministry and it's not just a passing glance, it's a, a deep heartfelt love for the people who come through this ministry and I know I felt that. It means a lot. I love Dr. Chavers. Um, he's awesome. He's, he's, he's really funny. He comes out with these one-liners every once in a while. And he always gets everybody laughing, so he's great. But he's also, he always, he's there for us. If we ever uh, need anything, we can just say, hey doc, you mind if I talk to you for a minute? Of all the people that I've had in my life, Nikki Chavers is second only to my parents in the amount of time that he has spent with me in training and mentoring. Uh, an incredible friend, incredible mentor, um, was able to see in me things that I did not see in myself and he went out of his way to develop them in me. 
The biggest thing that Dr. Chavers has taught me is that with God, nothing is impossible. And I've seen that firsthand in many of the things Dr. Chavers has done with starting the ministry and many people saying that that ministry is never going to be able to even start up, much less continue for 40 plus years now that this ministry, God has blessed it. Even when man said it's completely impossible, Dr. Chavers believed that with God nothing is impossible. Dr. Chavers, thank you for your vision. Thank you for starting the Academy of Arts. I would not be who I am today. I would not be in the relationship with my Savior if it hadn't been for your vision and for the time that you took and spent in my life. Dr. Chavers, I just want to say thank you um, for living before me. Um, an example of a godly man, of a man who has walked with God for many years, who knows the Word of God and um, knows what God has called him to do. Doc, happy birthday. I am honored to serve under you and to, to be a part of your life, as little as it may be, and I'm especially honored to have you a part of my life and to learn the things of the Lord underneath you. Thank you, Dr. Chavers, for, um, for putting up with me, for one thing, and for just the example that you've been and the encouragement you've been and for not giving up so that this place could become a reality. Thank you for this ministry. Uh, thank you for uh, giving us an opportunity um, to follow in your footsteps. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I know we talked the other night and you said you were getting some things up because you didn't know how much longer uh, that you had. And um, I hope I get to serve under you and through you. Um, and with you um, for uh, quite, a, quite a few more years. I just want to thank you, Dr. Chavers, for being my mentor and my friend, for being someone who inspired me when I needed inspiration. And I thank you for all of the wonderful work you've not only done with me and through me, but also work that you've done in the lives of every person that you've touched. I appreciate you, I love you, and happy birthday. Dr. Chavers, I would like to say thank you very much for stepping out and doing exactly what the Lord asked you to do and being willing to take young people whose character qualities aren't always the greatest, but being able to willing, being willing to take them and work with them and mold them into what Jesus Christ would want. Um, Dr. Chavers, I, I greatly appreciate um, everything that you have put into me and put into to all the young people that come and in, come involved with this ministry or, or get to know you um, and how much you give yourself to show Christ to this generation. I want to thank you for never giving up for 40 plus years of ministry. Thank you for keeping going. Thank you for staying strong for the calling that God has given you, holding on to that and never letting go. Thank you. Dad, I love you. I respect you and appreciate you. I am blessed now to be able to call you dad. Uh, thank you for giving me a wonderful wife, for raising a wonderful daughter, and now that is my wife. And thank you for your tireless efforts for the Lord. In the 70 years and over 40 years of ministry, um, it's, it's been an unbelievable path that you have forged, that you have made many times. It's not been laid out for you, you've made it. There's been a lot of people saying, no, you can't, you can't, but you said with God, it's possible and I can. And thank you for leaving that heritage for me. I don't know what to say. I love you, Dad. Thank you for being who you are, for following the Lord and being the best father I could have ever asked for and the best mentor and a faithful counselor. You and mom have truly been the most consistent examples of Christ-likeness for me. And now that I'm a mother and a wife, uh, you kind of puts things into perspective of how much you both had to do starting this ministry and having a young family and keeping it all going and keeping your focus on Christ and our family focused on Christ and never giving up even when it seemed impossible. And I think that was a wonderful theme for your 70th birthday, that with God, nothing shall be impossible. All of our lives would never be the same without you. So we love you and we hope that you relax and you enjoy your time together and that 
you're rejuvenated for whatever it is God has for both of you in the future. So happy 70th birthday, Dad. We love you. Love you, Dad. <laughs>